Hey guys, back with another video. Today, I just wanted to talk about my, uh, my current favorite project, uh, NFT project, and that is DGen Dojo. Now, um, I am pretty heavily invested in this. Um, and uh, I've been meaning to make a video about it and I wanted to take advantage because right now it's in a little bit of a dip. I don't like um, making videos about stuff when they're um, you know, at all time highs. So the reason why I like this project is um, a few different reasons that are really just opinions and feelings mostly. But I personally really like the team, which is I think the number one thing that you want when you are investing in an NFT. And when I say the team, I'm mostly talking about um, Timberwolf, and there's this other guy uh, who's also like the main co-founder of the project. I can't think, I think it's Bill Hook or something like that. But um, they're pretty active in the Discord and I just really like how they communicate. They're very straightforward and to the point, but show a lot of passion and uh, you know, say they're here to stay, that it's a long-term vision that they're not here to tiptoe around, that they're willing to take risks and do things different. And so far, I think they've delivered really well. Um, and there's just so many things about the projects that I think are pretty unique. Um, the first one that got my attention is the uh, what they call the Hidden Tea House, which is an area on their website where you can go and you can put in um, your particular NFT's metadata, and it uh, gives you certain stats that are associated with your NFT, which include um, attack, defense, hit points, and special ability um, damage, I think. So um, that's gonna be implemented into somewhat of like a, a game, it sounds like. And um, there's gonna be weekly boss battles, um, and there's a chance that you win different items from the boss battles, including um, serums, which are gonna be used to mutate your NFT. So it really, it's just a really fun project, uh, very unique. There's other very unique things. Um, I'd say the main thing that's also unique is the um, how they're managing the DAO. Now, in order to be part of the DAO, which owns what's called the DGEN Vault, um, you have to basically sacrifice one of your, your NFTs. And when you sacrifice it, it goes into the vault, which is owned by the DAO, and you get what's called the Mark of Musashi, which is also an NFT that will be tradable. So, um, people who, I believe only people who have the Mark of Musashi are gonna be owners of the DAO, and, which includes the vault. And currently, um, my loose estimation of the value of the vault as of this moment is around, uh, I'd say between two and $300,000. And their most recent purchase was a mutant ape, um, which surprised a lot of people, obviously, since that's an Ethereum NFT. But um, I just think this project is taking chances. They're really, um, you know, they're here to win. They're not, they're taking risks and they're doing things different. And um, I love how the team is handling everything. They're not, they're unapologetic. They don't over announce things. In fact, that's part of the culture is like that they're not really gonna make too many announcements. Instead of making announcements, they're gonna show us uh, things. So uh, 